finally, ChatGPT just released a search function that allows you to access the internet in real time. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use it and then explain the significance of this. You're going to want to watch to the end because this is going to completely change the way we interact with the internet forever. Okay, what better way to explain how this works than going straight to ChatGPT search and asking it what is new with ChatGPT search. First of all, I'm going to click this little button down here, this internet icon, it is search. So it'll search the web if I hit this. So now let's look this up on the internet searching the web and here we go. Let me read this all for you to give you an explanation. So OpenAI has recently enhanced ChatGPT by integrating real time web search capabilities, transforming it into a more robust AI powered search engine. This feature allows ChatGPT to access up to date information from the internet, providing users with timely and relevant answers. This is something we did not have beforehand. So this is awesome that we now have real time information. Initially, this functionality is available to ChatGPT plus and team user subscriptions with plans to extend access to all users users in the coming months. The integration enables ChatGPT to deliver current information on various topics, including news, score updates, and stock prices directly within the chat interface. To ensure transparency and credibility, ChatGPT's search feature includes citations and links to the sources of information it provides. So as you can see down here, it shows the sources on the right hand side. And finally, this development positions ChatGPT as a direct competitor to traditional search engines like Google, offering a conversational approach to retrieving information from the web. OpenAI has partnered with various publishers to enhance the quality and reliability of the information provided through ChatGPT's search capabilities. As this feature continues to roll out, users can expect a more dynamic and interactive experience when seeking information through ChatGPT. So this is awesome. You can see all the sources it pulls from. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask some questions here. Let me just say, what is the best date spots in Bend, Oregon? As you can see, it's pulling up, it's searching all of these different websites here. And this is awesome. We now get this user interface that allows us to look at the map. It's almost as if we're on Google and it pulls us to Google Maps. We could see the old mill district. We could change to a list. Cool, the Tower Theater, that looks pretty cool. Let me go straight to the website and we could interact with this just like if we were on Google. One other amazing feature that I wanna show you and I'm gonna show you how to download is I actually made ChatGPT my main browser in my Google Chrome. So let me look up what is ChatGPT search. As you can see, it automatically takes me to ChatGPT instead of searching this on Google. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that now. So first of all, we want to come up to our extensions in Google Chrome, come to manage extensions and then go to the Chrome web store. And what we wanna do is look up ChatGPT search and you can see I already installed this, but click on this, make sure to add this to your extensions. And as you can see, it automatically uses ChatGPT as the main web browser instead of Google. All right, I wanna talk about one of the really significant impacts this is gonna have on our workflow. So think of using Zapier. Zapier is a way that we could build workflow automations and automate certain tasks with inside of our daily life. You know, in the past we would use this for content ideas, for example, like right here, this is a way to use content examples from videos that are posted by certain YouTube channels. Now, imagine being able to use ChatGPT and have this automatically search and scrape different news sites or articles or blog posts on all the new AI news and curate that and add that to a Google spreadsheet in real time and have it do that like every five or 10 minutes. So that's one real life use case that I personally will use this every single day for using ChatGPT search and Zapier in order to build workflow automations to completely automate content ideas. This is gonna get crazy and Zapier is a great way to connect ChatGPT search to different applications. At the beginning, I said I wanna make this video quick just to show you an overview of how this works and not waste any time. Let's just try one more cool use case so you can see how this works. I'm gonna say, help me find some cool patio furniture under $500. So it's searching the web, pulling up from these different marketplaces. You could see Amazon, Target, uh, all that stuff. And you could even see the pictures of each of these, which is pretty cool. Just like as if we were searching on Google or any of these web browsing applications and it takes us directly to this. So the functionality is pretty cool. It's the user interface isn't great, but as ChatGPT said, they are working on this. And this is just a first initial prototype of how this is gonna work. But I could really see the potential of this growing and I could see this turning into the main search engine that I use. I 
probably won't use Google anymore. I'll probably just use ChatGPT, and that's crazy to me because now it kind of does everything that Google can do. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Are you gonna be using this every day for your search engine? If you guys want more content like this, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to leverage this in your workflows, sign up for Zapier. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.